This is Johnny Groove from OnManTraining.com. I want to give you a quick video. As you can see with all the bullshit going on and, and, and all the bullshit uh, race baiting and all the, the, the hypocrisy that's going on around race, all the lies, all the, all the history, it's all bullshit. You know, I said it before, I keep giving the numbers to people. People don't want to hear it. And the people that are out there giving the actual numbers, they're losing their jobs because they're standing up and saying, well, that's not true. Well, you lose your job. Here's the thing. Never, ever let anyone bully you into apologizing, especially today, because all these fucking guys out here now groveling. Look at Drew Brees. He said anybody kneels the flag, kneels, kneels when they play the national anthem, I will never, ever respect that. He had two fucking grandfathers who fought in World War I or World War II, whatever it was. Way to fucking take the side of a bunch of fucking crybaby, emotionally weak fucking athletes who fucking get paid millions of dollars to play a fucking game who still cry oppression. Yeah, your grandfathers fucking fought. Your grandfathers were fuck. His grandfathers were men. But he apologized. Okay? He gave in to the fucking bully mob. Okay, here's the thing. Quick story I'm going to tell you. Many years ago, probably over 20 years ago, I was working, I worked at a trucking company, and I was on lunch with my brother, and we were down there, and we were, I was reading a newspaper. There were some other people in there, and uh, I said to my brother, I, we have to read this, I said, they should drop a bomb on Camden, and it's a city we live right next to, it's one of the most dangerous cities in America, and it's a, it's a, minor, it's a minority city. Check, the, check it out, it looks like a fucking third world country. I mean, blown out, burned out building. It's just a shithole. Go on there, search Camden, New Jersey, and go to Images. And you'll see what I'm talking about. And I live right next to this town. So I said they should drop a bomb on this fucking town, even though it looks like they already did. Well, I got called up to the office later, and I was I was harassed, or I was reprimanded for saying what I said. And I said, well, why? What, what did I say wrong? And they go, well, we're going to ask you to apologize. And I'm like, apologize for fucking what? For saying, what, they should drop a bomb on Camden? Yes, they should drop a bomb on Camden. Come to find out, uh, well, there was a black guy in there, and I thought maybe he's the one that said it. Well, why not? So I go down there and I confront him. He said it wasn't me. I believed him. Come to find out the guy, white guy, that I trained to be my boss actually ratted me out. So long story short, they said I would have to apologize because he was in there. This is a trucking company, a blue collar work. And I said, yeah, that ain't going to fucking happen. They go, well, we're going to have to, you know, take away your raise and put you back down and, you know, your, your old position. Okay, go for it. I ain't fucking apologize. I don't say anything fucking wrong. Before I fucking apologize, if I apologize because I, I felt I was wrong, and I have apologized because I say a lot of shit to people back in the day that I was fucking wrong for saying just because I was angry. If I believe it and I fucking know it and I and in my heart, I will never apologize. I will not apologize for facts. I will not apologize for fucking the truth. Okay? And or my opinion that I believe. I did not apologize. They can go fuck themselves. I left three weeks later to fucking bigger and better things. And still to this day, I will not apologize for something I said. I will not be bullied into it. It's never gonna fucking happen. And anybody that's bullied into it, you're a fucking bunch of fucking cowards, and you gotta fucking stand and fight. Find another fucking job if you have to. Say what you fucking need to say, because if we don't, we're never gonna get the fuck. we're gonna lose that fucking right, and before you know it, we already don't recognize this fucking country. And in another fucking few years, we won't recognize this fucking thing, and you know what? We will fucking have to ha hang our fucking heads, because we will be that fucking once great conquering fucking nation that was fucking conquered by a bunch of fucking weak, soft, emotionally fucking wrecked, mentally fucking wrecked, deviant fucking degenerates. Later.